Hey friends, welcome back to Crusty Cranks TV where we paint baits and make lures. Alright, I was looking for a pattern that I haven't done on video actually. Um, I've done this pattern a few times and uh, I thought I'd share it with you. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be painting like five of these baits. So I'm not going to show you me painting all five of them just to keep the video short. I'll probably show you just painting the uh, 2.5. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it's going. I got a bunch of colors to lay down um, for you. So um, I've already went on and put my titanium white on. And I put my Createx pearlized white. And I've been using Wicked uh, Wicked Pearl White. And uh, went over to Hobby Lobby because I ran out. And I, they didn't have any more Wicked. But they had the Createx pearlized white. And uh, I've never, I think I did use it in the beginning when I first started painting baits. And then I switched to the uh, Wicked. Um, but I used the Pearlized White on this one on the Createx uh, brand. And uh, I really like the way it looks. I don't know if I got a good good bottle of it or what. But it sprays spraying really nice. And, uh, you know, so I don't know if there's much difference in the two. Um, this one seems to be a little more Pearl than the Wicked that I had. Um a little more pearlized you can really see the pearl and it's come more of an off-white almost an ivory a little lighter than an ivory color um so i've been using it a little bit and i haven't really had any problems of it changing the colors too much so so that's what i got on there uh titanium white and pearlized white from createx so um those two colors i already got on all the baits and the next color we're going to use is a transparent yellow, a bright yellow. And then we're going to use some fluorescent yellow. Then we're going to use my favorite. If you haven't got any of this, you need to get some detail moss green. It's so flexible with painting different baits. Um, then we're going to use a smoked black, detail smoked black. And then for the fin, we're going to put a fin on these. Um, we're going to use the uh, transparent orange. All right, so uh, let me get my brushes loaded up, and um, I'll bring you back, and we'll get started painting these. Okay, we've got the yellow in the brush. I'm going to go ahead, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat these with yellow, the bright yellow, and I'm going to go all the way down, and I want to leave just the belly white. That's all I'm going to do is leave the belly white, and uh, we're going to layer these other colors on top. I want to go down and just kind of fade it into the white of the belly. Try to get it kind of even. And I'm going to put a little bit on the chin. Okay, got the yellows on all of them, and um, I'm going to dump this brush, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so um, next color we're going with is the fluorescent yellow. Alright, so uh, I didn't really have to clean my brush out much for this. And the reason I'm using two different yellows is I want to get a little blend between the bright yellow and this fluorescent yellow because the fluorescent is almost like a chartreuse color actually it turns more yellow when it dries but it kind of uh, has a more of a chartreuse look to it so I want to have a little bit of that yellow on the bottom and then more of a blend into the chartreuse into the uh, yellow at the bottom so when you're spraying it make sure you spray and keep from going all the way down just so you get that little bit of chartreuse blend Okay, so next color is the Detail Moss Green. Okay, so we're going to 
kind of get this detail moss green uh, blending into the chartreuse. Now don't go all the way down, but just kind of hit the side just with a one or two little passes just to put that green blend in there and then really come darker on the top. I'm trying to stay, hopefully I'm staying in camera. The nice thing about this detail moss green is you can really go light with it or you can really build it up and get a real nice dark olive green I guess it is and it's one of my favorite colors to paint with if you haven't got some like I said earlier get you some of this you will really enjoy painting this especially on fish like pumpkin seeds bluegills this perch it really blends nice with the yellow or white And we're gonna darken the face a little bit. As you can see, I'm not going all the way down. I'm kind of leaving the yellow, then the chartreuse, fluorescent yellow, into the green. And don't even worry about getting it real black yet because we're gonna hit it with a little detail smoke black on top. And you don't want to get it real dark because of your stencil either. So you want your stencil to show show up on there. Okay, so that's what we got on that one. Let's get it even so it looks the same on both sides. Looks pretty good to me. All right, I'm gonna hit the rest of these baits and then I'll bring you back for the smoke black stencil. Okay, got my detail smoke black loaded up in there. Got my little stencil on right here. This is the stencil I made for the perch. Okay, and I got it kind of going off the top because I don't want to you can see it's got rounded edges at the top. Um, I really just want that to kind of fade into the top because I'm going to hit the top with a little, little of the smoke black. Um, so when you're using smoke black, detail smoke black, any of these detail colors, they're kind of thick. So I like to reduce them down a little bit. And plus I like to have them a little thin. Gives me a little more control. I don't want big, bold, dark, stripes on here I just want a hint a hint of that black in there just to make it stand out so when you reduce it down just a little bit and it'll spray better for you and it'll let you have a little more control over your black, over your detail. So you can see I just got a shade of black in there. Now I can go a little darker at the top. Because I'm going to hit that top with a little bit of this to blend them in. Okay, and let me try. I'm gonna heat set this real quick. And I'm gonna stick my stencil back on so I can use it over again. Always stick it 
if you're doing these kind of stencils, stick them back on. That way that you'll be able to use them over and over again. Okay. There it is. And it's probably on camera it probably looks solid black, but you can see kind of through it a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna get the stencil on the other side, spray the other side. Okay, got my stencil on the other side. Let's hit hit that side a little bit. Okay, get a little heat. And there's the other side. All right, so I'll stick this back on there so I can save it. And now I'm gonna take the detail black and I'm gonna go right down the back a little bit. I'm just going to darken it until those stripes kind of fade into that black. If you don't have detail moss green and detail smoke black, get you some of that. Guarantee you'll like it. Alright, there you go. See how my stripes kind of blend into the top. sides all right I'm gonna paint these other baits I'll bring you back we'll put the eyes on this one oh sorry nope we're not ready for eyes yet let me paint these other ones and then we'll put the fin on there I got a little orange fin I'm gonna put on it okay so last thing we got to do is put a little orange on it and uh, I got the little fin stencil cut out here and um, I'm using the transparent orange and not going to go very strong just like the stripes I want to just put a little hint of orange on there so one thing that will help you when you're trying to just put a little touch of paint on there and not want to um, load it down is hold your brush further away and that way you can just kind of mist it on there and that's really all I want I just want it to stand out enough that you know it's a fan okay so uh, let me hit this with a little heat just so I don't mess it up because you want the fin to almost look like it's transparent because it is transparent so you should see the stripe behind it. That's why we did the orange last. Okay, let me put the other fin on the other side. Okay. So 
a little win. Okay. Let me hit this one just a little more. There we go, that's better. Okay, last thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the tail. It. A little orange on the back tail and a little bit under the throat. Okay. There it is. The Lake Erie perch. like it all right i'm gonna get the rest of these painted and then um i will bring you back and we'll put some eyes on this guy all right guys we're back we're gonna put some eyes on this guy got the other ones all painted i'll show you them at the end um so i chose i chose to go with this dark but it's got a little bit of a green highlight in it for eyes show it to you whoops sorry it's right there okay so I'm gonna put the highlight part towards the front like so I like it I say that a lot but I really do like it Alright, get the other one on here and then we'll get them epoxied and I'll bring you back and show you all the, all the baits together. I like this glue. If you haven't seen my other videos, you know I use the Gorilla Super Glue because I like the brush. Sometimes when you're trying to drop a drop of glue on there it always ends up sometimes putting too much and with the brush I can control it a little better and this was a burnisher tool I just got it at uh, I think it was like the Dollar Tree I use that to push it down that way I don't get glue on my fingers and cloudy up the eye there it is there's the finished guy let's get some epoxy on him see what he looks like I'm sure it's gonna look good and um, I'll bring you back when I got them all done okay friends we're back and here's the uh, yellow perch CC094 and um, as you can see I told you I'd show you all five that I did um, got a little vendor event coming up, so I'm going to plan on selling some baits at that event. And um, I apologize if the uh, wind is blowing. I've tried to record this like three or four times and the wind keeps kicking up. So I'm just going to go with it. Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm going to a little vendor event. Um, this will be my second event and it did pretty well at the first one. So uh, yeah, I'm going to try it again. Uh, but here's five of the perch yellow perch and uh, I think they turned out pretty good. I got a 2.5 an s crank uh, 2.75 top water then a little 1.5 and then a 110 um, Jerk bait so all painted in the yellow perch pattern. So I think they turned out really good um like bringing them out here in the sun because I think it shows you the true colors, um, real bright colors, and actually what you'd would it be looking like if you're out fishing them in a nice sunny day. Um, so yeah, that's the finished piece, and um, 
colors we used today was titanium white and then we hit it with some pearl white createx pearlized white um, then we used uh, bright yellow transparent bright yellow then we came over top of that with the fluorescent green or sorry fluorescent yellow and you can see um, just to point this out you can see the blends between the transparent yellow the uh, fluorescent yellow and then the moss detail moss green which was our fifth color then we did the stripes and smoke black detail smoke black and dirtied up the face a little bit with detail smoke black come over the back um, and then we used a little transparent orange to put some fins on it because a couple people have commented that I haven't done any fins on my lures. Um, sometimes I only do them if it's, you know, appropriate um, or I think it looks good. These, most of these didn't have any raised fins on them. I think I will start painting all the raised fins um, just to bring them out the detail a little bit more. The, the 110 jerkbait's got a raised fin on it, so made a little stencil for that. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this is the yellow perch. I uh, got a few different ones I'm going to do. Got some more videos coming up. Just getting really slammed, trying to get ready for this event. Painting a lot of baits. Um, a lot of them I've already done videos on. So um, I only do the ones that I've done, haven't done a video on. But this is, an, this is a new video with the yellow perch. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Ring that notification bell so you get notified when we put up another video. And always remember, stay crusty. Right